In this video, we continue to enjoy the crystal clear waters of the Mediterranean around Palma, Mallorca, and things get a little tough on our journey back to Palma, as we, sadly, we have to end the trip. Lada was a little adventurous on the way back and decided to surf on the paddleboard. Well, it's an absolute beautiful spot here. Uh, Calapi is the name of it. Uh, not room for a whole lot of boats. I mean, I think there were a couple of them left already. It's probably seven boats, eight boats all together, kind of tied to the seawall. So you anchor, drop your anchor in the middle and then tie onto a rock. So we did, obviously, if you watched the last video, uh, we did it in the middle of a wind and rainstorm, which made things a little less than ideal, but we got it done and nobody hurt anything and the boat is still intact, so that's good. Was really nice. This close to the wall right there, I mean, just hearing the little waves lapping all night is perfect. The weather's great right now. September is a great month to be around. I've heard that June and September are the two best months to uh, kind of be here because the water's still warm enough to swim, but the crowds aren't as big as they are in July and August. So I like it, good spot. We're cutting this trip just a little bit short, cutting a day off because we got to fly early tomorrow morning. Well, normally we'd take the boat back tomorrow morning, but we got to go back tonight because we got flights in the morning. These rocky coves around Mallorca are known as Kalas. The sheer cliffs around the Kala are beautiful and the water is crystal clear. Kala is known as Kala P and is one of the more unique places I have ever anchored. It was a beautiful place, but all good things must come to an end, so Lada untied us from the rocks. Got it. Okay. Woo! That was fun, I wonder if they get it. With the anchor up, we motored out of the Kala and headed towards Palma, Mallorca. When the wind allowed it, we raised the sails. Do I still? It had rained quite hard the previous day, so the sails were full of water. We're milking it. It's lactating. What else can you milk? You want some, Bobby? Well, what about me? I have nipples. Can you milk me? No. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Our last little bit sailing in. We got, uh, what is that, about three miles to go. We're doing almost four knots. Not a whole lot of breeze out here, but it's a nice relaxing sail. It's smooth. Yeah. What'd you guys think of uh, your uh, Mallorca cruise? How do you summarize I mean, look weekend? at it. 
Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's enough. Obviously terrible, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice yeah. Well, yeah. and for and you? Oh, it was beautiful. I'm so glad I got to come here because G kept talking about <laughs> Mallorca, Mallorca. But she would say a lot of things looked like Mallorca, but now coming here, I get to see it myself. It's just so beautiful, and I loved it. Yeah, I think uh, for me, like the the. I think Mallorca probably has better beaches than some of the places we've been in the, in the I mean, med. just the beaches, the yeah. water, so, super blue, kind of like Bahamas blue, if you want to compare it to yeah. a color. And then they, 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 they call them callas here, like the little coves with the high oh, cliffs yeah. or anything, they're beautiful. Last night our anchorage was gorgeous, yeah. just yeah. like being on the high cliffs, being on the bottom, and then just like the houses on top are so beautiful too. And I've heard like, uh, if, you can, if you have time, you know, if you do a two week cruise out of here, head down to Ibiza or Formentera, and I hear there are even more there. Oh yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they're all over. She yeah. said to the north. G uh, said that like the north is a yeah, lot of it's, that. Yeah, hard winds, to it's harder, harder to anchor there. So, it's so anyway, all right. So we got a little bit longer in, and then uh, head to the marina. All right. As we brought down the sails, Lada was feeling adventurous. Should be yoga. Should I go? Go on. Wait one second, okay? I'll do it for one second. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sharks? I'm just scared of sharks right now. I don't know sharks. You're probably, yeah, you know, you're, you're probably okay. I was a little bit nervous at first, but soon was handling it like a pro. Med mooring with sand lines, so we don't actually. So med mooring, traditional med mooring, you drop your anchor and you back up into the dock. This is a little bit different. They have sand lines um, or lazy lines, whatever you want to call them. So what we do is we back up to the dock. There's two ropes lines on each side of the hull, right? We're gonna throw those to the dock guys. They're gonna tie them off. I'm gonna motor forward off the dock um, to keep us off the dock, right? And then. They're gonna hand you the sand lines and you gotta walk up the side of the boat with them all the way to the front and then pull tight because there's a block out front, right? So you're gonna pull tight on that block and tie them onto that outside cleat. And that'll keep us from going back into the dock. Does that make sense? So there's a sand line. You have to like walk with it on the side of the boat all the way forward, get to the front of the boat, pull in on that sand line as much as you can where it's attached to the block attach it to the cleat, tie it off. So it's tight. So it's tight and then we're good. Okay. And so from that now, what we can do is get all the fenders out. I want uh, at least three fenders on each side, more towards the back a little bit, but that means all, all spread out. And then if we can, we'll set up a fender off of each hole in the back. Okay. 
All right, let's do it. I, it's funny how my heart is wide. Right. put off the water. That's probably good right there. I'm gonna put it over it. Yeah. Under. Yeah. And hold it like this. Over this rope. Yeah. Over this again. Yeah. And right here. I'm gonna pull. That's how you do it. Using sand lines is a bit of a tricky process, but the benefit to the marina is that you can fit a lot more boats inside. We got lucky and there was a nice big end spot to tie up to. Another downside to sand lines is that they bring up muddy water on top of the boat and get your deck all dirty. Once your sand lines are secure, you retie the aft lines where you loop it around the dock and back to the boat so it's easy to let loose when you're getting off the dock. Next, you attach the passerelle and you're ready to go. Unfortunately for us, the work is just beginning. <laughs> we had a great time in Mallorca and sadly it was time to say goodbyes. Oh. <laughs> oh, good morning. Good morning. Well, we're all kind of splitting up today. You're going to Germany? Yes. And Bryce is going to meet you there in a few days, right? Yeah, he gets... stays for three more days. Okay. Yeah. And then we have, we'll tell you where we're going in a little bit, but it was nice having you guys around. Yeah, it was really nice. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah, we loved it. Yeah. Cool. Very good. <laughs> and, uh, we'll have to do it again sometime. Yeah. Yeah, okay. no, it looks a little rainy. Yeah, it All looks right. really rainy. Oh, no. All right. Well, we'll oh. say bye to them, and then we'll tell you what's going on with us. We've had some change of plans, too. Right. Well, sadly, we've had a change of plans. Yes. Not much we can do about it, but uh, there's a hurricane headed to Florida, and that's where our boat is. So we, I mean, number one, uh, the marina where the boat is requires that you evacuate the marina in case of a hurricane. Number two, I don't want my boat to get damaged when it's due to close on a, in a week and a half. Yeah, it's technically really not our boat anymore. Well, I mean, kind of. no, because if it were to be destroyed right now, the guy'd be like, "Well, see you later." Yeah, exactly. So it, uh, yeah, so got to move the boat, unfortunately. So. It sucks because we're losing the money on the, the charter in France, and then we had to spend buy really expensive airline tickets to get home to do this. Um, but it's that time of year. We thought we were past it. We thought like uh, you know, it's kind of late September in season. was kind of like the end of it, but I guess yeah. Not. I mean, September is kind of peak season, especially early September. But you know, by... that's what I'm saying. Early September, yeah. but I guess we'll just go back. We'll move the bow. We'll show you guys what we're doing. Yeah, with so that. we'll, we'll um, make one more trip on the dark side. Yeah. We'll head over to the Bahamas sure. to get out of the uh, hurricane path. Yeah. All right, well, let's pack yeah. stuff up and I guess we'll see you guys uh, in Florida. 
We had a really great time sailing around Mallorca on that boat from Navigar. Navigar has like 13 bases and more than 300 boats all around the world. So if you'd like to charter a boat, you can save $200 off your first booking by using code DOODLE at navigar-yachting.com and uh, get out there and go sailing. And the, the month of November, we're running a patron special. You can join for as little as a dollar a week. That's less than a cup of coffee, guys. And it really helps us out. I don't know if you've noticed, but like pretty much all the sailing vlogs lately, uh, I don't know what it is. I, don't, I think maybe there's a change in the algorithm it's going to short form content or uh, people just aren't as interested in sailing anymore but the views have been down a lot among basically all the sailing channels and so it's our patrons that really make the difference and allow us to keep doing this and make this content for you uh, you know and reinvest things like cameras and airline tickets and all that stuff we got to do to be able to make this content it is kind of expensive to do that so again thank you to our patrons for doing that they get early access to the videos they get uh, behind the scenes content and all that kind of great stuff and I uh, really appreciate you or if you'd like uh, another way you can do it is you become a channel member right next to the subscribe button there's a button that says join you click that and you get early access to the videos as well and thank you guys for making this possible.